Happy day children. Do not set aside your happiness. Do not wait to be happy in the future. The best time is best time to be happy is always now. See the thing which I want to convey is be happy always and makes other happy. Don't keep aside your happiness. Don't think that in future you will be happy. At present stay happy. Today we are going to see unit three pros book exercises. Let us see one by one. Then I choose the correct antonyms. His grandmother was very kind to him. You mean kind means you cruel. Opposite is cruel. The boy seemed to have a taste for mathematics. Delicious, sweet, distaste, distaste, against, distaste. You know, opposites. Isaac possessed a wonderful faculty of acquiring knowledge, owned, controlled, lax. Then the next one is who was observed to be usually with his tools, busy with his tools. Answer is usually means rarely. Then question answers uh, already we have written and uh, today remaining two questions I will give. Then prefix and suffix. You know the prefix, the both are infixes which infix in a word to form a new word. Prefix means it is affix which is placed before, that is before the word. Adding it to the beginning of one word changes into another word. The word totally changes. For example, when the prefix un is added to the word happy, it creates a new word unhappy and it also changes the meaning. You see, happy is different, unhappy is different. So, prefix means you have to add in the beginning so that it changes the word and it forms a that is forms a new word. You see, rewrite, rewrite. Write means it is different, rewrite means it is different. Some examples have been given. Go through it. Then we shall go for the exercises. Underline the prefix in each word. You see, prefix means before. Unlock, un. Rewrite, re. Dislike, dis. Unsafe, un. Remix, re. Relocate, relocate, sorry, re. Distress, dis. Untrue, un. Unhook, un. Unlucky, un. Disown, dis. Disclose, dis. Same way, suffix means it is placed after the root word. That is, after the root word. That is, happiness, happiness. Color, colorful. So, here they are given some examples. Sorry, there were some exercises for you to work out. You just try there. Okay, you try by yourself. I have just attached a PDF, but you try by yourself. And the next topics we are going to learn is syllables. You know, syllable is nothing but unit of pronunciation. When you pronounce a word, it spells, you see, apple, apple, apple. See, it is divided into two. Let us see one by one. Syllables means already I said it is a unit of pronunciation. One unit consists of a vowel and it is, if it is a one syllable word, it is called monosyllabic. Let us see some examples. One syllable means act, cat, book. These are all one syllable. Disyllabic or by means two. You see again, a, again and each syllable contains a vowel. Rubber, beside. Then trisyllabic word means word having only three syllables. Beautiful. You see, when you pronounce the word, it's it just gets done. beautiful. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. To when you say slowly, you can get the pronunciation. Tomorrow. So if you have three syllables, it is a trisyllabic word. If it is two means it is called disyllabic or bisyllabic. If it is one means monosyllabic word. And you see to that children, each word. Each syllable contain a vowel. Then we go for next one. Four syllable means it is called tetrasyllabic word. Tetrasyllabic word. For example, economy. Economy. E C O N O M Y. Morality. Morality. When you say slowly, you can sit. You can get the syllables, and you see to that in each and every syllable you will get a vowel. Pentasyllabic. Penta means five. Penta means five. Tetra means four. You know it already. Already you might have learned in your uh, max. Examination. X E X A M I N A T I O N. So five syllable means it is penta. More than six, six and more than that, it is called polysyllabic. More than six means it is called polysyllabic. Identification. See identification. I D E N T I F I C A T I O N. And then Fleming's, so it is a listening paragraph. It is about uh, Alexander Fleming. 
who discovered penicillin and he was forced into an interview in New York by two journalists and just he was at about to have, to have his breakfast. One of them asked, sir, what are you thinking about right now? We wish to know that what a great scientist think while getting ready for breakfast. Fleming mused while and the question, I am thinking of something very special. The journalists who were all ears drew themselves forward. I am thinking whether to have one egg or two. So whatever may be, whether he is a scientist or not, they may be thinking about their breakfast only. And with relevant to that, they are given some questions you have to answer. So name the scientist, you know it very well. Alexander Fleming, what did he discover? He discovered penicillin. Who approached the scientist? Who approached Ma? The two journalists approached the scientist. What was the question posed by them? What is the question? The journalist, the journalist asked uh, whether Alexander Fleming, sorry, Ale what Alexander Fleming was thinking them while getting ready for his breakfast. When did they meet the scientist? They met the scientist when he was about to have his breakfast. The listening passage is given in 227. And you, you stick a paper and write the answers clearly, children. And syllables too, I have just attached in PDF. You just say the word and split it. Okay. Just say the word and I have just written it. If there also you can write in a paper and you can stick it out. I Everything I will attach in a PDF. So, that one you see to that. Then the next topic we are going to learn is preposition. Already we learned in parts of speech. A preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or pronoun and another word in a sentence. You know, the chalk is on the table. The on is the word which shows the relationship between the chalk and the table. And usually come, it usually come before a noun and give information about time or place or direction. The preposition, it gives the uh, information about time, place or direction. Here, then we, are, we shall go for the book exercises. Preposition. Preposition is a word that connects a noun or pronoun or to a verb or adjective. It may be whatever it may be. Common prepositions are in, on, at, to, with, during, before, after. These are common prepositions. And in that preposition of time means these words at, on, in, before and after. They are used to indicate when something happened or will happen. The time tells the time. And preposition of time you see proportion of time these words exp uh, convey the time and uh, you see here uh, some examples have been given i was born on july 4th you see the highlighted words are preposition i was born in in means it tells the time i was born at exactly 2 a.m like that you can frame your sentence by your birth by asking your mother at what time at what day at which year year and all you know the time you can know what i was born two minutes before my twin brother so you can frame you see exactly it tells about the time so let us go for the exercises. We go to school dash Mondays on Mondays but not on Sunday. Christmas fall falls on 25th December. Buy me a present on my birthday. You are asking that on your birthday particularly. Families often argue during Christmas time. I work faster at night. Her shift finished at 7 p.m. You see all these exactly tells the time. Proposition of time. Then models models here yeah, models models are nothing but it is a type of verb that is used to express your ability poss possibility permission and these words are must shall should will would can could you see past forms can could me might dad need see there are model phrases or semi models used to express the same thing as models but a combination of helping verbs and the preposition see more model verbs model verbs just tells you the Mood, express your mood and it is used to express your ability, permission, obligation, possibility, whatever it may be. You have to circle here, except have to and need to, all are model verbs only. Except have to and uh, need to, all are shall, should, will, would, can, could, may, ought to, might, dare, used to, need. All these are preposition, sorry, model verbs except need to and have to. Then let us see. We use modal verbs too. So, if we believe something is certain, possible or not. Impossibility. You see, we use the negative can't or cannot to show that something is not possible. That cannot be true. You cannot be serious. So, probability. Probability means we use the model must to show we are sure about something. But we have reasons for our belief. It is getting wrong. It must be quite late. 
when you're sure it is getting dark means it's already late permission permission means usually you we use may can can i ask a question may i come in could is just the uh, past form could i ask a question please and instructions and request we use could you would you as polite ways of telling or asking something to do something can i can you could i could you the negative form is can't and in spoken english cannot in written english so then the next one is model uh, they are given some examples can means ability i can speak a little russian i can drive a car it is also used for permission can i open the window can i open the door may possibility may means what? may it may rain it may rain possibility it may rain or may not may is also used for permission may i sit down must obligation must a strong belief should or you should do advice would is a request or offer would in if sentences use polite request we seek help from others you have to fill in using would you or could you so when you get please always use would you children would you please close the door would you please open the window could you mind going to the back bench there you can use could you would you please bring some water for me here as the phrases using would you or could you you have to rewrite it as with a could you as the police agent for direction could you please tell me the way to the railway station would you lend me your bike could you exchange this book could you please open our classroom window so now today word of the day is accident it is a noun something that goes wrong by chance he spilled the juice but it was an accident accident means it is something that goes wrong by chance so always do concentrate in your work he spilled the juice but it was an accident um, i saw a man met with an accident whatever you can frame in a sentence so thank you children complete your book exercises um and uh, send your assignments to your concerned group thank you have a nice day